Good afternoon, I'm Claudine Wong, in for Tori Campbell. Topping our news this new time, more controversy for the BART Police Department following a weekend arrest that left both the officer and the suspect injured. The entire incident was caught on tape. It all happened Saturday night at about 5.40 p.m. at the West Oakland BART station. BART police say passengers on the train called for help with an unruly passenger. The train pulled into the station and the man was pulled off, but before it was over, both the officer and the suspect needed medical attention. KTVU's Craig Debro has the video and has been getting reaction today. He joins us live with the very latest. Good afternoon, Craig. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, we're here in the outer mission this afternoon because this is where Michael Gibson was in the few hours right before this incident happened on about 515 on Saturday night. According to the family, Michael Gibson left his grandmother's home here and the next time they saw him was on this YouTube cell phone videotape, the tape that most of us have now seen. He was crashing into the glass into the custody of a BART police officer. <laughs> After I saw that, I said, oh, no, this is excessive force. That, that, that was not merited. Michael Gibson was riding in a Pittsburgh Bay Point bound train at about 5.30 on Saturday night. Police say several passengers called 911 to report a man who was being physically threatening and hollering racist words and phrases. A passenger took this cell phone video and posted it on YouTube. Park police say the video will provide only a portion of what they need to complete their investigation. It is a piece of the evidence. It is not the only evidence, but it is definitely a piece of the evidence of this investigation. What are some other things you're going to be looking at and helping you to conclude what happened? Speaking to those witnesses who were at the scene, those witnesses that are, had attempted to contact us afterwards, uh, everything and anything that we can do to ensure that we collect all the facts, we will do. The Michael Gibson case reminds many of the Oscar Grant case because both involved a BART police officer, a BART passenger, and cell phone video. In the Grant case, cell phone video led many to draw a conclusion against the officer now standing trial for Grant's homicide. In the Michael Gibson case, cell phone videos also also providing clues, but opinion about what those clues mean is not as close to being as unanimous as it was in the Grant case. Some believe the cell phone video may actually help the officer's case. We slowed down the sequence of events. The officer, who has not been identified, grabs Gibson off the train and walks him toward a concrete wall topped by glass. As the two get closer to the wall, Gibson's right arm disappears from view. It appears as though Gibson's hand and arm hit the glass first causing part of the plate glass to come crashing down on top of both the officer and Gibson. The suspect uh, had minor lacerations to his head, uh, right hand, right forearm. The officer had uh, major lacerations to his head requiring st stitches and also received a concussion. To me, it seemed like he just took Michael and walked him straight over to that window and just shoved his head through that window, or was trying to shove his head through the window. Okay. I saw Michael put his hand out to brace himself. BART police say the severity of the officer's injuries led them to charge Gibson with felony assault. He's in the Santa Rita jail right now, scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. Gibson's family says they understand how passengers might have felt threatened, but Sylvia Hawkins, Gibson's grandmother, says the officer should have been at least as sensitive as a passenger on board the train who just seconds earlier asked Gibson to leave nicely. His family also says Gibson suffers some bipolar disease and may have not been taking his medication, although he seemed fine just a few hours earlier while he was here visiting his grandma. The officials have been placed, the officer has been placed on a paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Bart does say that the officer joined the force six months ago, and that was after the Oscar Grant shooting. Reporting live from San Francisco, Craig Debro, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, Craig, thanks for the update. And you can see more of the BART arrest video from Saturday night by just logging onto our website. That's KTVU.com. Just go to our homepage and click on the Bay Area News tab.